In previous episode, we discussed about the tasks need to complete as soon as possible and today I am gonna give you a to-do list that need to complete sooner than later. First, activate utilities services. After shifting in the apartment, then some tasks need to go on high priority. The first one you need to open an account in municipality to get activated your electricity. And then there are some utilities uh, will be activated by your community management like water, garbage and sewage and sometimes gas if needed. Second, internet and distribute connection. Internet connection is the most important utility to have before anything. As a first time comer, internet is the only friend you do have in the new country who guide you where, when and how to go anywhere. You can use community office space where Wi-Fi is free for residents. You can use a scanner and printer and some basic office stationeries as you need to submit hard copies and soft copies of your bills and other office related documents in initial days. Uh, read reviews online and ask to your colleagues for a good internet service provider in your particular area. Third, set auto payment for utility bills and rent. To avoid late fees, set auto payment for apartment rent and utilities. Probably in the first month while so many things are going on at the same time, you might forget to pay rent and utility bills and in that case you have to pay late fee which could be an extra burden on your budget in initial days. The fourth one is buy groceries and households. After shifting in your own apartment, you might be craving for homemade food for sure. So uh, to go to buy basic groceries and household, you can rent a car which is the costlier option or book a cab or you can use public transportation which is the most reasonable option you have. Once you are done with all your basic utilities and necessities, you can go for further tasks to make your life easy but like to get SIM card and new cell phone. To get a SIM card, you will need passport, social security number, address proof and deposit amount. You have two choices, prepaid and postpaid. You may be asked for deposit if you are going for postpaid plan as you do not have history. It is not a bad idea to go with it if you have long term plans to stay in US or you can uh, add your account with your friend's account and make it a family plan. Next, credit cards. After opening a bank account, the next thing regarding financial aspect is to apply for credit cards. First, you should ask the bank that you opened an account to issue you a secured credit card. It is nothing but a credit card that is given by the bank for less amount like $500 by taking cash from you as a deposit. You should apply for unsecured credit cards with other finance agencies side by side. Nowadays, some agencies give unsecured cards without any credit history, but it all depends on situations. This is very important step for building your credit history. You will need to have a good credit history to take any car loans, personal, personal loans or mortgage etc. Next, store membership card. I would like to suggest that before buying major household and groceries, just have a store membership card from where you're gonna purchase your stuff because uh, you are supposed to buy your most of the stuff in initial months only so you can optimize these cards and your annual membership fees would be worth to pay. Next, get driving license permit. Visit the state DMV website and get the information on learner's driving license permit. Be prepared, read the material related to learner's permit and give the exam. It is important for you to do this so that it doesn't delay your time to getting driver's license. Then the last but not the least, car. Start looking for a car, car finance and insurance companies. Once you learn automatic driving, you can buy your own 